What's up, YouTube? How y'all doing? It's your boy Melly Mills coming at y'all with another video. It's been a whole minute, I understand. But your boy's a college student, so y'all gotta understand. And I apologize, but I've just been up to here with the studies and life and everything that comes with it. So please excuse the tardiness. I've been thinking about doing like a little playlist of my knowledge of waves. As you can see, I got my do-rag on. I do have a little bit of waves. The only reason why I say a little bit is because I did texture my hair. It was a failed attempt. It was a failed project. Please don't bash me in the comments, please, bro. Like, it's hard enough for me as it is, all right? But my hair is slowly, I guess, starting to get back to where it used to be. You know, my coarse hair. Um, I'm not mad at it. But I'm not happy at it either. It's just annoying to deal with. So please bear with me. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I, no, I'm not even sorry. It's just, that's my fault. Anyway, it's going to be a wash the style method. Because as you can see, I'm in my bathroom. So we're going to do wash the style method. I'm going to teach, I'm going to break it down for y'all how I do it. Just stay tuned. All right. So the first step you want to do is obviously unrag. So go ahead and show y'all what I'm working with. It's a tragic. It's, it's still something. Okay, still working with something, I guess, you know what I'm saying? A little something, something. Nothing major. Oh, some brother, slight, this slight. guy okay, stay! So, unrag, what I do is five to seven minute brush session. Um, don't go with softy, because when we're doing the wash and style method, I would recommend is a medium softy. The brush that you're gonna be using, just because it's gonna get down into your scalp, and with the water and the shampoo, it's going to soften up the brush because it's going to be at least a 30, 35 minute long like session for the shampoo and the conditioning, the rinsing, and then before the ragging up. So when you do this, try to fit this in your schedule as best as possible. I recommend doing this at least twice a week, at least twice a week, especially if you're a coarse hair waver. The texture was just difficult enough to manage. So by doing this at least twice a week, you're gonna keep healthy hair. You don't wanna overdo it every week because your scalp obviously retains the moisture and it gives out the, um, your body you know, produces these oils that pretty much self cleans your hair. So you're not supposed to even wash your hair every day. Your body, yes, cause it's skin and it touches other stuff, but your hair, no. Trust me, you don't need to be doing all that because you're going to damage your hair. When you put in products daily, you want to rinse them out at night when you take a shower. But just don't shampoo your hair every night because it's defeating the purpose. So, yeah. Softy brush, brush session, five minutes. Watch me work. So you guys, my products are, I have, are pretty much my go-to. Um, you got the shampoo that I showed and the conditioner, the can too, just, you know, keep the same brands or whatever, but you don't have to do that. I don't personally do that. I did the shampoo with the Cantu and then I did the uh, conditioner with the uh, Shea Moisture. I personally like that one, it smells pretty good. Next, we got the uh, Curl Enhancer, then the Daily Oil Moisturizer, and then finally the Coconut Curling Cream. These are also what I put in my hair afterwards, pretty much. Uh, after washing my hair um, it's just to it's kind of like kind of like putting lotion on your skin pretty much you know after you take a shower that's what you really want to do with your hair that's what I do at least um, you don't have to but it's pretty much recommended like you know for people who say oh what products do you use do you use this product and it's not a third I'm like yeah I use products but that's not even 50% of the work that's needed to be done when you're waving. So those are the products that I use. <clears throat> All right, so yeah, so I'm just been brushing, brushing, brushing as you're supposed to be doing with when you're waving. Took a little sip of that, you know, good old smoothie that I made earlier today. <laughs> so right now I switched from my brush to a comb and this is where the whole style part is coming into place. Remember when I said wash and style method this is what I meant. We haven't touched the wash part yet, obviously, just been dry brushing, but this is the style. Um, I also do the comb 
when uh, my hair is wet and uh, when I have the shampoo in because that's also really the main focus of washing style but here is really more focused on my crown so whenever I take a comb whenever I'm like really picking at the back side of my head is for my crown because obviously a good waver knows that their crown must be like on point that's just how it is you know so just been focusing on my crown then I you know comb the rest of my head but really focusing on my crown trying to make sure that it's where I needed and wanted to be at so I just more do more emphasis on it dry and then uh, move on to the actual washing of it of my hair all right so here I'm obviously getting my hair wet you know lab pretty much so that it may be lathered up with the uh, shampoo in So right here, I'm taking my shampoo, putting a little bit in my hand, dropped on the floor. I think I forgot to pick that up actually. <laughs> oh well, yeah, just put in your hair. Next thing you wanna do is get that medium softy brush and just get to work get your angles make sure you can see your angles that's the key that's why we brush with mirrors you don't just you know blind brush you only get to blind brush when you are an elite waver but even then don't get into the habit of doing it all the time you really want to brush in the mirror so that you can see what you're doing where your hair is supposed to go what your angles are all the forks trying to get them connections in again stuff like that so major key to brush in the mirror So here I'm just brushing in the conditioner. I didn't show you guys um, how much I put in my hands, probably because I forgot to, but it's the same amount as the shampoo, maybe a little bit more. Um, yeah, just brushing it in, just like you did with the shampoo, really no difference. I had to flex a little bit, Supreme mirror, you know, it's okay. But uh, yeah. So after you brush in everything uh, with the conditioner to rinse it out, we're gonna take it to the shower. Gonna get yourself the uh, plastic bag. Please, please, please don't don't listen to whatever everybody else says. Use the plastic bag as much as you can. It saves lives. I promise you this. The reason why we use plastic bags is because we need to lay down the stubborn hairs that stick up and I'm sure if you paid attention to your own head and your own hair you're going to see a buttload of those every time you finish brushing you're just like even through the do-rag you see it just poking out through the do-rag you're just like how the heck does that you know lay down how can I get it laid down the plastic bag lays it down your softy brush can only do so much I use it to rinse out my hair just because I, when you put hot water in your head, your hair sticks up because of the heat.
next up, I get the small little circular brush from 3, 360 Wave Process Rashad's website. He sells tons of different brushes, soft, medium, hard, bristled. That one is both a beard and crown brush. Highly recommend you using your comb. Making sure that you're brushing and combing in the mirror so you can see everything. Just rag up, go on with your day. <laughs> That's about it. y'all so this has been the wash and style method by Melly Mills if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up share around with your friends your fellow waivers stay tuned for other videos I got coming out and uh yeah peace Yay! Just got faded.